okay, if I had to pick any song to sing for Sharon, I believe this is the song that I'd have to sing for. I know her heart and I know the way she lives, and I know she does it wholeheartedly for the Lord. Amen. But listen to the message. I come and I'm standing at the river. Separate the two worlds that I love. Torn between my precious friends and family. And the place of peace that's waiting. Up above, yeah, we'll we'll hold my hand and stay there by my side. And when I finally step into the tide, celebrate me home, celebrate me there, celebrate me in that land of wonder where nothing can. there to help, willing to help, do yes, whatever she amen. She does a lot for the gospel music, the association, the Moon Lake. She's just a wonderful lady. And I'm so honored, as well as these two here, to be able to come tonight and just be a service for her, to try to help her needs out. But I can say this for a fact, that she's a lot like me. I've got a lot in this old world, and it's hard to let go. But if the Lord was to call me home, I couldn't find a better place for my brother. 
a better place than I'd rather be tomorrow than in heaven with Jesus. I know that we're here for sharing, but I don't want to leave nobody out tonight. Yes, amen. If there's a need in your life, I want you to meet that need tonight before yes, you leave. Hallelujah. I feel the Spirit here tonight. I know that He's here waiting for you. He's calling for you. He's knocking on your door. But He's not going to knock long. So if you feel it, answer it. Don't leave out of here because He might not knock again. You never know. We're living in a perilous time in this old world. I'm telling you, we are. I just want you to keep praying for my mom. I know the Ward family looks a different, a little bit different tonight, but my mom is going through radiation with cancer on her nose. And mm. She's done with the radiation for the cancer on her nose. Let me sure I get this right. Am I good? The outside looks good, but the inside still bothering her. But y'all pray for her because uh, she had that done, and uh, you sang with us quite a minute now, ain't you? So I had to stop and think now, man, who, who can I call to get to replace my mom? Because, you know, my mom's very special to me. You know, it's hard to fill my mama's shoes now. I love my mama to death because it's through my mama's prayers. It's the reason why I serve the Lord today. Hallelujah. She never gave up on me. Only my dad yeah. too. He always made sure that we got to church and had gas and a way to go, and he always put us in a bus and equipment and got us on the road, got us to sing. He's done a lot too. But then I thought about Faye and I said, Well, I gotta call her. And I think she's done a beautiful job. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight she leaves when we get through singing. She's gonna probably slip out, but y'all forgive her because they're going to Kansas, Cindy, Missouri in the morning to see her son and her grandkids. So she wants to go home and get me a little early so they can get up. I know she's anxious. I know she's just walking on her tiptoes anxious to get a hold of those grandbabies. Her and Larry. So y'all remember them when they leave or just say a quick prayer for them. Now the Lord will yes, give them a safe travel there and back and just fill their hearts full of joy with the love of them grandbabies. I tell you. Yes, and uh, Miss Faye still sings with Southern Vision. And then, uh, but they're kind of like slowing down a little bit, so I grabbed her, and she was anxious and ready to go, and so I said, well, if you're going to do this, we got to let you sing a song, too, so she picked this song up right here, well, actually, she didn't, we just throw it down and said, you just want you going to sing right here, but, you know, so now that she does such a good job, and we don't even want it back, you just take it with you, because she does a good job, it's an old song, and we're just going to feature her on it, and just let her know that we do thank you from the bottom of our heart to be able to step in and help my mom out like that. And hopefully y'all pray. My mom's going to try to go with us tomorrow yeah. and say Sunday. And say, well, I'm glad I got my sister with me, Scotty. You got any sisters? Well, how many has got sisters? Eh? Well, how many are you thankful for? <laughs> I do. I love my sister. She keeps me straight alive. First thing she said when I come in the back door, that don't even match. <laughs> Black and white, that don't match your face. Oh, well, uh, I'm a guy, so it's just the way I came. So right. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and make this baby feel welcome.